350,000 people across North America that we supported with training and, and performance assets and that sort of thing. So there, we did have the app. So it was the one place to go to, but usage rate was about a third, despite all the campaigns to your point. And the thing that worked the best was rolling something out, targeting a specific hot issue and getting people who were early adopters to use it and then share their success story. As soon as people could talk about my sales went up because this much over this last six months, and this was one of the pieces that was a part of my, my improvement, other people hear those stories and listen to them and say, oh, maybe I should go check out this app that I've ignored for the last 17 years I've been in business, you know, mm-hmm. you know, so that's the thing we found was the success stories. It doesn't matter whether it's traditional learning or the full of the work. I think learning from peers who they know are going through the same challenges mm-hmm. and hearing this was helpful. You've got to market that and get that, those stories in front of them. But a lot of it's word of mouth because within the, within the business I came from, the, the top leaders talk to each other informally outside of the company, kind of company channels. So that was one way. There are events sponsored by the company or newsletters, you know, emails, that kind of thing where we could highlight those things. So a combination of those kinds of stories, but it seems like the word of mouth was far more effective. If there's a handful of people we knew that if you could get them interested in trying something and it worked for them, they let people know and other people are listening to them. So the key influencers in the field. So when you get those peers in the field, their leader to do those three minute videos or whatever, those testimonials are powerful from them. And the combination of the app being the place, not just for learning information, but other things drives the app in that continuous flow of work, that learning that we're trying to talk about. I, I focus in on the leaders, specifically senior leaders, to equip them to help their team members learn. And so providing them with, with the, the assets and the tools and the practice to communicate and you know starting with themselves and then um, reaching out to their team and then their team can reach out to, to others. So focusing on the person that has the potential to start the greatest impact. 